Hey guys, here is a tutorial for Suburb Sandwich. If you haven't seen my performance, go ahead and click here. Alright, um, now th there is no setup for this trick, so it can be shuffled by the spectator. It is completely impromptu. Alright, so once they've uh, shuffled the deck, they hand it back to you, alright, and you have them touch a card. Now, say they touch this one, what you're going to do is you're going to need to push off the card next to it. So in case, just say this one, you're going to get a break above that one. So then you're going to set this card on top, and you're going to pick up the double lift, showing their card, but don't look at it. So it's a five of diamonds. Then what you're going to do is Ed Marlowe's is convincing control. Um, so you're pulling that card down, is pulling that card up. So then the card's on the bottom when you push it in. But for that, um, all the advanced people will get that better. So I'm just going to go through the simple way, if you don't want to do it like that. Okay, so what you do after this, they uh, shuffle, you're going to have them pick a card, and you're not going to look at it, so they're just going to look at it. So it's, it's the four spades. Then what you're going to do is you're going to place it in, and you can just uh, keep a break above it, and you're just going to give it a couple cuts, and you're just going to have to control it to the bottom. So that's all you do is control the four to the bottom or their selection, but you don't look at it. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectator you need two helper cards. Now, you're not going to show them this, but you're going to look at what their bottom, the bottom card is, which is their card. So, it's a four spades. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go through, and you're not, they're not looking at this, but you're going to pull out the two red fours, okay? So, you pull out the two red fours, and they're still not looking at them. And then when you get them out, you're going to, be, you're going to say, no, let's get two different cards. It's just an excuse. So, what you're going to do is you're going to swing cut, keeping a break, and swing cut all the way through and then just cut one back time to where you cut to the red fours again. What you're doing is getting rid of the other black four, which was their card. Then what you're going to do is you're going to say you're getting two different cards and you're going to go through and pull out the two black fours, which are their cards, okay? And so you got to remember that their card was the four of spades, which is right there, okay? Now, um, the thing is you're going to want the four of spades to be second from the bottom, so you want it to be set up like this, with the four of clubs and then their card. So what you're going to have to do is get, get a break above the top two cards, which are the two red fours. So once you have a pinky break above those, you're going to take those with the four of spades like that. So then you're just going to square those up and steal all those cards. So you have the four, red fours under the uh, black fours. What you're going to do is peel off the four of clubs, flip it over, and then set these three cards on the deck, flip over the king, the other four I mean. Alright, so you can show those, and remember that you, the second card that goes is their card. And you're going to show those like this, and put this card under this one, which is the red four. And you're going to flip, and then you're going to push off and get a break like that. So you push off the next card, which is the other red four, and you get a break above it as you when you flip this over without expo exposing the other red four. The red four, I mean. Okay? Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to, with that break above those three cards, you're just going to steal those and set them down. And so you have three cards over here instead of two. They think they're the black fours, but it's really two red fours and a black four. What you're then going to do is you're going to get a break above the top card, which is the other black four. And you're going to do brow reversal so you can uh, change that to a thumb break, flip over half the deck, then flip over the rest. So now their card should be... Uh, face down in the middle, but you don't show them that yet. You just put the deck to the side. Now, you show the two black fours over here. Remember that you should have their card. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to do the turn a turnover pass. Okay? And the, tur the turn pass or turnover pass will be on the uh, screen or in the description. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the top card and get a break above it, under it. As you're going to do the turnover pass, you're putting the cards through your hands like this. So as you do the pass, and then you snap and show that there's one card in between it. Okay, and that's the four of diamonds. You say, is that your card? They say no. Now what you're going to do is reverse count the cards to get the black four to the bottom right there. Then what you're going to have to do is get a pinky break above, under this top card, which is the red four. What you're then going to do is you're going to secretly flip over the bottom two cards. So now their four should be sandwiched. But as you do that, you're going to pass the cards through your hands again, flipping it over. So now you show that the red fours are sandwiching one card. And you can show that the card they're sandwiching is their card. And you can say we have three fours, and the fourth four is in the middle of the pack, face up. And while I hope that wasn't too fast, I'm going to just go over it one last time really fast, just to remind you, all right? 
So you start off, have the spectator pick a card. They don't look at it, but in this case it's the Ten of Diamonds. Stick it back in the middle and just control it uh, to the bottom of the pack. You say you need two helper cards, and since you're looking at the Ten of Diamonds, you're getting out the two black tins without them looking. Alright? So you get out two black tins. And you're going to say, let's get two different cards without showing them these. So you swing cut, keeping a break, swing cut all the way through, and give one cut back to get the black tins back on top. Then you're going to say you're going to get out the red tins. So you're just going to go through, you can get out the two red tins. Let's see, these. Alright. And remember, there are cards with the tin of diamonds, so you should have it second like that. You're going to put off, push off, get a pinky break above the two black tins, square those up and uh, steal all of them, and then flip over the Ten of Hearts, set down the Ten of Diamonds and flip it over, then do this, so you put that Ten of Diamonds, their card, under theirs, push off, get a break above the other black ten, flip it over without flashing the black ten right there, square those three cards up, and set down those three cards there, then you just do a brow reversal with the top card, and set the pack to the side, then you're just going to do the turnover pass as you pass the cards through your hand. So you're just going to pass and pass them through. Say, is that your card? They say no. Then what you're going to do is reverse count the cards. and get a pinky break above, under the bottom, the top card. And you're going to flip the, secretly flip over the bottom two and as you pass the cards through your hand like that. So then you have those. The black hands are now sandwiching their card. And in the middle is the ten of hearts face up. So um, I hope you guys understood that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.